So we're joined today at the Rancho Grande by a very important role in as Hector Lopez. Hector, uh, thanks for joining us. What's it take to put a function like this together? It takes a lot of work. As you can see inside, uh, we got everybody working in conjunction with what, what we're going to be doing here tonight. Um, a lot of overnight, uh, midnight uh, Texas is back and forth just to get everybody here and to have a good night tonight. You have Rob Astorino coming and it's the Westchester and the Hispanic. What's the name of this event and how did you come up with that name? This is actually the Hispanic Heritage Month and Rob Astorino and the Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement Association got together to put a concert for the Hispanics of Westchester and today this is what we're doing and we're going to be honoring three civilians and three police officers from Westchester and Yonkers that have made it to the top and have done um, a lot of positive things in their community. Speaking about making it to the top, um, what's your position? I am president of the Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement Association, which is the largest Hispanic law enforcement association in the area. And uh, we have members from Homeland Security, FBI, U.S. Marshals, White Plains PD, Yonkers, you name anything in law enforcement, our members are part of it. What brings tonight, what makes tonight special for, for you and for the turnout here tonight? The turnout here tonight is very special. It's supposed to start at 7 and it's already getting packed. It's not even 7. Uh, it's very special because people are coming to see our honorees. Um, and they're going to have to, they're going to tell their story of how they made it. Uh, famous business people, um, great officers in the community, uh, a mix of everything. And they're going to, tonight is their night to shine. Hector Lopez, I want to thank you for joining us on The Voice. We're going to go ahead, we're going to be filming a lot of uh, various people inside. Uh, anything you want to say to the viewers at The Voice? Uh, yes, um, the Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement Association is aware of all of the tragedies going on today in Puerto Rico and Mexico and we've been working overnight and the night before nonstop while making this event happen but we're also putting some organizations together to see what the needs of the, those people in Puerto Rico and Mexico are what their needs are so we could uh, send a contingency of people and or supplies and what it is that they need but we've been working. It's very serious down in Puerto Rico a hundred percent without power right uh, you know that's a big deal so so those those people over there they need candles flashlights they need clothing they they need canned food there's no power to cook so get, they're gonna need stuff that doesn't spoil so we're working on that and to see what we can get from the communities out there to make sure that we can get these uh, supplies to them Hector Lopez I want to thank you for joining us and folks stay with us we're gonna be uh, talking to a few people tonight it's a very big deal Thank you. So, did you play a part in making this happen? Yes, uh, we're both members of the Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement Association, and uh, uh, we uh, are pretty much uh, helping this event. Uh, we were part of the uh, organizing this event. And what's your comment on this on a night like tonight for you? I, I'm just thankful to be a part of it. Now, we, we, we had to pull out, guys, the, the hottest couple in the, in the whole place. So, um, do you have any good words for the citizens of Yonkers, for, for people who like to support this? Yes. Um, if you guys want, you can uh, look up the uh, association, Walia, online. You can be a part of. You can help us on future events. Um, support your local police department. Okay. So, we ran into A.J. Woodson. Very up and coming uh, show, uh, Black Westchester Magazine, uh, blackwestchester.com. AJ, what brings you out tonight? I um, just came to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, and we dedicated the September issue to the, to the, to the uh, to Heritage Month, spotlighting a lot of the um, Hispanics in Westchester that are making a, a name for themselves and, you know, just doing it, you know. So. I mean, it's always good seeing you. I mean, the show's really doing well, too. Yeah, uh, People Before Politics every Sunday, uh, 6 to 8, on IndemixRadio.com. And um, like you said, uh, the website is BlackWestchester.com. We've been doing it for three years, and we just went print uh, for the on our three-year anniversary in, in August. So this is our second edition. I'm working on the third edition now for October. AJ, can I can I hold this up for, for our camera guy? I mean, I'm, I'm proud. I've been on your show, and folks, uh, I support Black Westchester. Uh, they're doing a great job. They're getting a message out. 
where's Damon tonight? Is he coming? Uh, I'm probably not. He has to work tonight. Okay, so Damon's working. Damon, we miss you here, but we're very proud of what you're doing. They're doing great work, guys. Don't forget to, uh, to hit their show every Sunday, 6 to 8, on uh, what's, the, uh, what's the website? Inthemixradio.com. And it's, and it's off the hook. Uh, keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Y'all keep up the great work as well. Okay. <laughs> And so we ran into Lorraine Lopez of Latino Empowerment, a very good page, folks. Very balanced page, as a matter of fact. Thank you, thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about why you're here tonight. Well, I'm here. Uh, I'm here to support my brother, which is Hector Lopez, who's the president of the Westchester Hispanic Law Enforcement Association. I'm also here to um, support Rob Astorino, who's the county executive, who's also running for re-election. As a Republican, I am here to support him 100%, and I'm also here to see Willie Colon. Latino empowerment. Uh, we, we have a crisis in Mexico. We have a crisis in Puerto Rico. Yeah. What's your part in helping sending sort of some sort of aid? Are you guys doing anything yet? Yes, as a matter of fact, absolutely, and I'm glad you asked that. Um, one of the things that I noticed is that people are sending toiletries, they're sending clothes, they're sending, you know, certain hygiene products and, you know, water and stuff like that. But people have forgotten the men that are in, in La Isla. Um, they need generators and they need um, chainsaws and, and tools. And so that's exactly what I'm collecting. I'm collecting generators, I'm collecting chainsaws, I'm collecting tools, and I'm going to send them over to Puerto Rico. And uh, hopefully, you know, some of the people in Yonkers Voice, you know, would, would see this and they'll hopefully donate. You know, if they, you have a generator sitting around or a chainsaw sitting around, whether it's new or used, you know, we'll, we'll gladly accept it. I want to thank you for joining us today on The Voice, on the Yonkers Voice. Um, how do we donate? What, what, what website do you have? Well, I don't have a website, but you can find me at Latino Empowerment on my Facebook page and you can message me. You're going to tell me that or you're going to tell our audience that? Oh. Oh, you can, I don't have a website, but you can find me at Latino Empowerment on my Facebook page. It's Latino and Others Empowerment page, and you can message me, and I will gladly answer you back because they need all the help we can give them. Folks, if you need help finding the page, we're always available. We'll help you out, navigate through that, and get you over to, uh, to Lorraine. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Yonkers Voice. What brings you out tonight? Uh, well, actually, uh, we're doing a uh, Hispanic Heritage celebration. Uh, we have, you know, booked this a long time ago, but I guess tonight we're going to also commemorate and, uh, you know, remember all of the uh, people in Latin America that have, you know, suffered through, uh, and in the U.S. that have suffered with the hurricanes and the earthquakes. So we'll have a moment of uh, silence for that and remember them. And then, uh, you know, it's a... Great opportunity for all the uh, Latinos in Westchester and anybody else who wants to do to celebrate our presence to the, the Latino culture and our music and just have a good time. Well, are you going to be uh, you going to do a little salsa in there or what? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm. Uh, that's what I've been doing the last 50 years. Yes. I want to thank you for joining the Yonkers Voice and giving us a sound bite tonight, folks. You got to come out, and join us, Willie Cologne. A legend in his, a, a legend in our in, in our town right here. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, thank All you, right. thank you, Bob. All right, Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino is out celebrating tonight at the Rancho Grande. Rancho, uh, Rancho Grande. Rancho Grande. Yeah. Uh, Rob, always out. It's always good to see you. Tell me what brings you out on this special night. Well, we're gonna have a great night tonight. Rancho Grande, Jesus Lira, the owner, uh, is opening up his doors, and we've got the best of the best. Willie Colon is gonna give a concert tonight for Hispanic Heritage Month that uh, we're sponsoring along with the Hispanic Law Enforcement Association, and it's gonna be packed, 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 but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I tell you, it's we're a lot honoring, of- We're honoring um, uh, people of um, Latino heritage for Hispanic Heritage Month. A lot of people inside already. Yeah. Are you going to do some salsa tonight? Oh, man, you got to see me on that dance floor. Well, Actually, gonna... you don't want to see me on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be following you around tonight. Okay. I want to thank you for joining Bianca's Voice. Thank you, man. Thank All you right. very much for being here. All right.
Up a little bit more. And one more time, el aplauso para Lisa! Mexico, which is our sister city. At 
At 21, he began working at the famous Orza Bakery, located on New Main Street in South Yonkers, as a baker. Narciso was employed at Orza Bakery for more than 20 years. Since then, he has made the American dream come true. He has owned and operated La Comercial Mexicana on New Main Street for 18 years. He's a successful businessman, a member of the Mexican-American Chamber of Commerce, and a pillar of the Mexican-American community in Yonkers. Tonight, we honor Tarcicio Duran.
Thank <laughs> you.